Let's put this into practice and go over some of the tools. We have a box with another box cut in, along with an extrusion. In the info panel, I see that we have scale on the object. So I'll just go ahead and apply the scale and make sure that we always apply scale before doing any UV work. Switch over to the UV editing tab. This will go into a split view. On the right is a usual 3D view. On the left is a flattened version of a model. I just want to adjust a viewport setting to make things easier for us to work. Just make sure that we're in edit mode. I'll go to overlay panels and disable everything except for seams. This will make our life easier when laying out UVs. If I click on a face, it'll show up on the left side and so on. I want to change the mode so the object will always show up in the left window. I'll click on sync view to 3D selection. Now you notice any time in edit mode, you can see the flattened state. So this step here is just a bit of force of habit. I like to start off with a fresh slate. So I'll select the entire model in face mode, press U, which will bring up our UV panel, and I'll scroll down to clear seams. This will pretty much clear out any old existing data sitting on the model. Press U again and hit reset for a clean start. Lastly, we'll enable live unwrap. That way the unwrapping happens in real time as we mark seams. So like before, you have an object and a pair of scissors. Where can we start cutting or marking seams to flatten this out? There's really no right or wrong way to approach this. But let's just start by cutting out those pesky boxes from the main shape. Let's grab the edges on this extrusion, hit U, and choose Mark Seam. In the left window, you can see it's starting to unfold. We just got started, so it's not going to look that great. Let's cut out this other part. Nice. So we got two small bits out. Let's work on the main shape. Starting with the top part here, I'll select a couple of these edges and hit Mark Seam. Nice, it's looking like it's unfolding properly. We'll need a few more seams, so try out these sides over here. Slowly getting there. I'll grab the ones at the bottom and see how that unfolds. So it's looking closer and closer to that paper craft layout that we saw earlier. So those two first shapes that I cut out look a little bit weird. So let's try to fix those by marking more seams. Just mark the edges around the shape here. That's looking pretty good. And we'll just do the same to the other one. Awesome. Check out our UV layout. It looks quite flat and we only used a handful of tools. Before moving on to the next video, take some time to mess around with the tools, experiment with different objects. And the thing is, the biggest challenge is knowing where to cut. And only time and practice will give you a good handle on it.